becoming familiar and navigating around in cPanel. This demo assumes you've already logged into cPanel. Now let's familiarize ourselves with cPanel and learn how to navigate its various pages. The first thing you should do in cPanel is update your contact information. You can do that by clicking here. From here, you can easily change your cPanel theme if you want to. Changing your cPanel theme only changes the way cPanel looks and not the way it works. Over here, you can see which account you're currently controlling with cPanel. If you have more than one account, you can change to another account from here. Scroll down. On the left, we can see detailed information of this hosting account. For example, it shows how many email accounts we've used, 1, and how many were allowed, 20. The same information is shown for park domains, add-on domains, MySQL databases, email accounts, FTP accounts, etc. Let's scroll down some more. Additional information is listed down the left side, like the PHP version in the server, MySQL version, IP address, and paths to send mail and Perl. Let's take a look at service status. Click to view. Here you can check to see how well the server is performing. The green lights on the right mean that system is running properly. Scroll down. You can also view the partitioning of the server's hard drive and see how much storage space is being used and how much is left. Click the Go Back link. Now let's look at the right side or main panel of the cPanel screen. The right side includes several icons that are grouped into specific boxes. These icons each allow you to do specific tasks within cPanel, like setting up email accounts and databases, checking your webmail, setting up mailing lists, etc. Let's quickly scroll down and take a look at all the tools available. At the bottom is a link called Documentation. Documentation is a link to a comprehensive cPanel manual where you can learn all there is to know about cPanel. Let's go there now. Click Documentation. Welcome to the cPanel manual. Make any selection in the left frame and the resulting pages will show up in the right frame. You can learn about all the features of cPanel from this online manual, and it's always available from the home page of cPanel. Scroll back up. One final thing to show you, new in cPanel 11, is the ability to rearrange the windows to suit your needs. You can do this by simply dragging and dropping the window or box you want to move. Let's demonstrate. We'll move the mailbox so that it's above the Preferences box. That's all there is to it. Now users can organize their cPanel to suit their specific needs. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now be more familiar with navigating around in cPanel. To learn more about the various features of cPanel, you can return to the cPanel documentation link at the bottom of this page. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.